Hey, everybody, and welcome back to the podcast. So excited you've joined us for Home Sweet Homecast episode. I think we're at 13, 14 this week, isn't it? This is 14. That's pretty exciting. How fun. I know. Can you believe it? Wow. That's nuts. Yeah, it's fantastic. So loving it. Enjoying we've, every single we've week. We've come a long way, baby. We have. I mean, you, you go back and watch the first episode, <laughs> just the setups again. Like, I just, that's been fun to kind of figure that side of the game out. And, uh, Coming up with con like becoming content creators, you know, and figuring out what yes. to talk about each and every week. That is such a, uh, I wouldn't say a challenge, but it certainly requires a little more brain power than I expected. Um, mm -hmm. We are so holding that, our own with Chat GPT. Yeah, that's also. right. <laughs> yeah, if you guys haven't played with Chat GPT, I highly recommend it. It's just fascinating to see, like, what uh, just the way it can think for you. It's just it's mind blowing. Literally. Yep, lit literally. Um, but literally. tonight, tonight we're doing something different. Honestly, uh, this may be a little shorter episode just because, but it's something that's near and dear to our hearts. Um, and mm -hmm. that is, uh, we just wanted to do a whole episode about Arlington, Texas. Um, we wanted to do yeah. basically a look at Arlington. First off, you know, what is, you know, if you don't know about Arlington, if you've never been to Arlington, you know, what do you need to know about Arlington, Texas? Uh, just as a general area, but particularly like I was born and raised in Arlington, Texas. Mom has spent a lot of time in Arlington, Texas. Um, mm -hmm. And so what, you know, what's a local's perspective on this area? What do we like? What do we dislike? Things like that. And so um, we thought it'd be fun to just talk about that. We do a lot of business uh, with our real estate business in Arlington, especially, yep. um, you know, uh, I w <laughs> if you ask realtors in Arlington, like Gene Christianberry is a big deal as a realtor. Like I, I hear other realtors saying often, like, you know, like your mom's famous in this area. Like, um, so it's a place that we have uh, called home for a very long time and certainly loved mm -hmm. been honored to contribute and, and serve it in lots of different ways. So excited to jump in tonight about this town that we, uh, for me, hometown, um, but this town that we certainly love. So. Absolutely. And, and you know, having been around Arlington for, such a very long time. I mean, it's been, oh gosh, 50 years. Yeah. Um, Dang. I've seen so much change with Arlington. So it's been really cool to watch that. Yeah. So, you know, I grew up, I grew up where it was really, really cool. Um, I, you know, as a teenager to cruise up and down Cooper street. <laughs> so you would get in your car with your girlfriends on a Friday night and you would start going up and down Cooper street and it would be like stop car to stop car. Like it was like stop traffic and everybody's talking and what? talking to each other and jumping oh in and out of cars and meeting people. And yeah, it's just totally stop traffic. Just barely <laughs> moving. And we'd go like... all the way down to Randall mill park oh my circle gosh. in Randall mill park and then come back the other way. So it was, it was a real fun thing to do. Um, and that just kind of gives you a sense of, how hometown that was, right? Because I mean, that's yeah. something you do in a little bitty town. Yeah, and that's it's exploded now. I mean, it's just it's yes. a whole new world. And you know what I think what's interesting about Arlington, and we'll talk about this as we go, but I think it's so interesting. Like there are almost different um, districts within Arlington. I mean, Arlington is not, yeah. I mean, considered. You know, when you think of the Metroplex, it's DFW, it's Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. But and so you think of those areas, those cities having, you know, sectors and you have the cultural districts and you have the, you know, the, the technology districts or whatever. Right. Um, and, and Arlington really has a lot of that characteristics. Mm -hmm. Like you have, you have the entertainment district for sure. Right. You have that. Um, yep. you have Ballo kind of the lake and, area. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you have lots of different pockets. And so every little part of Arlington is very, very different. And I think it's very, uh, it's just cool how that kind of works out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's just built around, it's almost like the city was built around activities. Yes. Or sure. Yes. Around different yeah. things that were happening. Yeah. yeah. No, that makes great yeah. sense. I think, I think that's spot on actually. That's you're totally right. What was happening in that area? It just developed around that. Totally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, in the center of all of this, we have, you know, the university of Texas mm -hmm. at Arlington, which didn't used to be that big. And it was yeah. a huge commuter school for a yeah. long time. And now, you know, they've built so many dorms and they've had a lot of money come in at, to that school. And, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's blossomed. Mm -hmm. So now it's actually a, a school where people live on campus and it yeah. didn't used to be that. Yeah. And yeah, they worked hard to get there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Yeah. Well, all right, let's just jump in with an overview. So let, let's just act like the person listening does not know what Arlington, Texas is, why it matters, you know, um, what do they need to know just as an overview about Arlington, Texas before we get into the real detail kind of stuff. Well, what's cool about Arlington is we're kind of considered, you know, the jewel and the crown of DFW. Nice. <laughs> so that's kind of the thing. We are the entertainment capital of North Texas. Heck yeah. So that's one of our other titles for Arlington. Yeah. And that's, you know, largely due to, and, you know, just because it's so famous, uh, we've got to mention the entertainment district yeah. because that's where a lot of our, you know, uh, media comes from, sure. a lot of our advertising comes or from. sports. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just, that's that's the huge part of that is you've got, you, yeah. you probably haven't heard Arlington, Texas, but you've heard of the Dallas Cowboys and you've right. heard of, you know, the Texas Rangers. You've heard of these big, big teams um, and they are all call Arlington home. Like they're the Dallas Cowboys, yeah. sure. Texas Rangers, sure. But Arlington is where they, like their stadiums are mm -hmm. and, and their stuff is. Mm -hmm. And so- um, yeah, I the, love, the two stadiums. Well, the two yeah. stadiums are are walking distance to yep. each other, so yeah. that's part of the entertainment district right there. Well, and then not to mention, like this is such a um, this is more niche than than those two things. But you have the esports capital of Texas. I mean, we have that huge esports arena, um, and and it's this you know it's a video game uh, gaming center, and it's 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 so cool. I mean, it's just so so cool, um, and they're they're. I mean, it's it's a it's an amazing experience. You have a chance to go down there when you're at a, at a ball game or at a you know football game or whatever. Go check it out just because it's a, such a cool space that I just for an industry that you know or for a sporting you know event that just you don't think about as a sporting event. So it's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, as part of that, as the growth has continued with all the sports arenas, we've also got now you know there's um, uh, a venue for performing artists for oh, music. Sure. And then, of course, you have, you know, the Texas Live. Mm -hmm. So a huge um, arena, outdoor yeah. area, indoor area. <clears throat> and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it has been, um, you know, it's grown and it's full of restaurants and yeah. bars and nightlife and music. Yep. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's great. And, we, of course, we have the Lowe's Hotel there. And we're getting, it's currently building a very, lug, a big luxury hotel as well. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. So, I mean, that's the entertainment district. You have that whole, you know, part of town. But, like, when you really think about it, like, I mean, it's very much in the right in the middle of uh, Fort Worth and Arlington. I mean, I guess technically, I mean, really, it'd be like the east side of Arlington that's truly the middle. But, I mean, Arlington is very much the middle uh, of just the, the metroplex in that way. Um, and I think that what's so interesting is that you really have the ability to kind of get the best of both worlds while also still maintaining kind of a suburb lifestyle in some part pockets mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. um because you you mean we lived on the west side of arlington and that was you know 15 minutes from downtown fort worth right and if you're on the east side of, of arlington that's maybe 20 minutes from downtown dallas if you're not hitting crazy traffic if you're hitting traffic it's still 30 35 depending um on what time you're driving if you're not you know, dumb and driving during the crazy times uh right. <laughs> you never do that in dallas just as a heads up right um <laughs> well, and you know what's you know what's I think so cool about uh, the entertainment district, you know, being kind of walled off mm -hmm. from more of the you know suburbs and the housing district. It's almost like it it's got borders, like you know, yes. the north border is I thirty, yeah, and the south border is like Division Street, yeah. and then you have uh, the Meadowbrook Golf Course mm -hmm. and a big park there with yep. a big pool. So you've got kind of some borders that are geographic. Yep that kind of enclose that entertainment district in its own little pocket. Yeah. And then around that, you know, is there's a commercial district that goes into downtown Arlington. Yeah. And then you also have, of course, all the housing districts around yeah. that. Yep. It's a uh, crazy mix match of a bunch of different lifestyles for sure. I mean, and our parks are, I mean, our parks, honestly, first yeah. off, I mean, you guys talk about the water. Arlington's water, it, just so you know, voted like number one water in the nation or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's a fun little, you know, fact about <laughs> Arlington. Um, but the, the, oh gosh, the parks are incredible. Like river legacy. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've got that, what's that huge Randall mill, I think is what it's called, mm -hmm. uh, up North by 30. Um, mm -hmm. and you got a bunch of little ones, but those are just huge ones. Um, mm -hmm. that, I mean, are just substantial and, and have such a cool, 
experience tied with them with the with deep trails and stuff like that mm -hmm. um even you yeah, have, we have a very active uh, parts parks department is mm -hmm. very active yeah and they're always looking for ways to do education yeah with the kids yeah like river legacy has the nature classes yep. and, oh i remember yeah. the nature classes y'all i remember that i uh i was eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> and looked away for a second i was like five or six or whatever and a bee had landed on the peanut butter jelly sandwich. I ate the bee, first off. Didn't realize I ate the bee until it started buzzing in my mouth. Freaked out, opened my mouth. The bee flies out, comes back, stings me right on the lip. And I was sitting home for the day, of course. Trust me. There's, mm -hmm. yes. And your lip was like, you know, this oh, it's, big. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it looked like I had had like, a, a, like my, what do you call them? The wisdom teeth removed. That kind of like. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. You well, yeah. Uh, you, there's just a lot of cool parts of Arlington for sure. I, I We found an interesting statistic. Um, so, uh, North Texas grows by one person every four minutes and is expected to double in size by 2050. Um, and just keep in mind, the reason we bring that up is because in the center of that is Arlington, Texas. Like, and so right. that's just, you're, you're catching it from both sides, right? Like that's, that's a, that's a substantial number <laughs> of what's happening in the area. Mm -hmm. Um, currently populations at 398,000. 854 people mm -hmm. so it's it's not a small town it's not right. the biggest town in the area for sure um but it's not a small town for sure well and the funny thing about arlington is because it is in between fort worth and dallas mm -hmm. it's hard to know where it stops and where the other cities start yeah. so yeah it's just it's really it it feels bigger sometimes than it yeah. is because it just feels like it keeps on going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, there are parts of Arlington, especially when you go south, um, that you really do not realize are still Arlington when you're in Mansfield ISD mm -hmm. or Kennedale ISD, or when you're in uh, when you're on the um, oh gosh, I think for me the west side feels kind of you you know when you leave Arlington for me. I guess north side maybe a little bit less, but certainly southwest side you you know when you're in the Fort Worth side of town, um, or at least Forest Hill side of town, and then. Um, uh, going east, uh, that's kind of the same thing, actually. Going east, it's the same thing. Like, you, mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to tell when you go into Grand Prairie, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's just interesting, y'all. So, it's, it's cool. It's uh, sixth on Smart Assets list of best cities to buy an affordable family home. So, fun fact there. Yes. Um, that's that, really cool because we, we are still very affordable in yes. Arlington. Yeah. So, that's unusual to be surrounded by so many higher-end markets. Yeah. Um, and still be affordable like that. Yeah, well, it's just, so. it, and that's a, that's a big, I mean, that's a big selling point right now as we're recording this in 2023, um, because right now, uh, we, we there, affordability is just such a thing in our nation. Interest mm -hmm. rates are high right now. You've had a crazy appreciation going on. And so affordability has just been thrown out the window with that. And so the fact that we at least lean more in the affordable direction is super helpful for just our mm -hmm. area to still allow, you know, first-time home buyers or, or people or downsizing or whatever it is to find homes in that price range that they want. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's a big advantage that we have for sure here in Arlington. Right. And you know, with the um, growth of the University of Texas at Arlington, mm -hmm. so you know, you have your entertainment district. And then, of course, there's the downtown Arlington, which has really gone through quite the revival. Yeah. So we've got a lot of multi-use property down there where you know you've got you've got townhomes and condos yeah. and then on the bottom floor you may have commercial buildings and coffee shops and restaurants and you know good dry goods stores so you've got all that going on as well as you know you then you're at uta and uta actually used to be so much smaller but now it is actually a texas tier one college yeah so I, I wasn't sure what that meant. So I actually looked that up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and what that means is that they are expected to bring in at least $100 million every year in research grants. Wow. So isn't that crazy? So it also means, you know, that they, they meet standards for having a high quality faculty yeah. and staff. But, you know, UTA is known for its um, engineering and yeah. its robotics program. And it's nursing. It's, and nursing. Yeah. So it's got a great reputation and because of that it's attracted a lot of different people from a lot of different areas and so that has also i think increased a lot of our cultural influences mm -hmm. within mm -hmm. the city so you'll see it in the restaurants right yeah. i mean you see indian food asian food 
Mediterranean yeah. food, Mexican yeah. food, Cuban food, yeah, I mean, just all yeah. kinds of, yeah. yeah, Japanese, all of it. And that's been also something that's been growing. Yeah. And so we have a lot of culture now. Yeah, yeah, that's absolutely true. I mean, you know, it's funny, you're looking at, at two uh, UTA Arlington, gra- UT Arlington graduates mm-hmm. right here. Like, you know, I'm absolutely. second gen. Um, so, and, you know, it's, it's, I, I can't imagine, like for me only being gone for, I think eight years now or something like that. Like me only being out of the college for eight years. Oh my gosh. That campus is going crazy. I mean, it's, mm-hmm. it's exploding the buildings that, that are getting built. The, I mean, every part of it is just blowing up like crazy. It's so mm-hmm. it, like, it, it blows my mind to drive through it. Um, cause if you drive on Cooper going North, you eventually just run into UTA cause you just kind of drive under it basically. Um, and it's just such a huge thing now. And, and even when I was there just eight years ago, it wasn't that. And I can't imagine what it was like when you were there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Well, you know, remember when, when we walked through and did your orientation uh-huh. and your dad and I were walking through with you and it just blew us away how yeah. much it had changed. There, there had been empty land, empty yeah. spaces everywhere. And it was all full with buildings. Yeah. So yeah, it, the growth has been tremendous. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts, but yeah, you, you cannot undersell their engineering. Um, you cannot undersell their nursing. I mean, these are just some, some right. programs that they just are really, I mean, very, very hard mm-hmm. to compete with. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, did you know that I worked at UTA? That you worked at UTA? I guess, I guess your dad and I both worked at UTA. Like when you're in college. So I was an assistant to the affirmative action secretary. Really? Uh huh. Uh huh. In the admin in the administration part, like we were just down the hall from the president. Yeah. Wow. Come in every morning. Yeah. It was it was pretty interesting. I didn't know at the time that was a big deal. Yeah. But looking back on it, it was like okay, that was fun. Wow, that's crazy. And, and then you know, your dad was he worked with the um, what do they call it? It's like landscaping. You know, okay. he worked with the yeah. landscape the the yeah. UTA landscape department that took care of all the ground. Like yeah. Yeah. He did a college job like no, that. No, I had no idea. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. That funny. Hell in world. We are ingrained, y'all, in Arlington, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> we bleed Arlington. Dad blood. got the lawn at UTA before buildings were built. <laughs> Big deal. That's right. Life changing stuff. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, then there's just so much there. I mean, again, just talking about what we have going for us. I mean, first off, I just realized I'm drinking out of a Texas Live cup right now. So thank you. Oh, look at Live. that. For, for providing the you know sponsorship or whatever for this episode. There you go. Yay, Texas Live. That's funny. There's um, a lot of fun stuff to do there. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of really cool like bars and stuff. Um, oh, which brings us to the Levitt. We have to talk about the Levitt. Heck yeah, go for it. I mean, you guys do a lot of stuff. So the Levitt Pavilion is an outdoor uh, pavilion stage. Um, it hosts a lot of musical events, and um, it's it's free. You mm-hmm. know, so the the concerts are free. They're just out, you know, in the park, and they usually have food trucks. And, um, yeah, it's a great way for musicians to, you know, perform. And we have a lot of fairly big names that come in too. I went and saw Leonard Skinner there. (laughs) I mean, we saw a foreigner too there as well. See, yeah. Yeah. All the old eighties bands Mm -hmm. came through, but there's some country and Western bands that come through. Anyway, it's just a really, it's really neat because it's right there around downtown Mm -hmm. And so you, also you can go to all of the different little bars and yeah. restaurants there. Yeah. So that's yeah. a real neat deal. If you're, if you're a foodie or if you're, I don't know what the music version of a, of a foodie is, but um, yeah. you like, you won't be, you'll be very satisfied in Arlington, Texas for sure. I mean, there's yeah. just, when it comes to food, you just, it's hard to beat um, what we have available to us in a small area. You can usually find an incredible, you know, Chinese restaurant. You can usually find an incredible Indian restaurant, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I mean, with with music, you've got really two very different, um, gosh, uh, genres between Dallas and Fort Worth. Fort Worth definitely leans a little more to the country, yeah. Americana, folk um, side of the sound in this area, and Dallas definitely leans a little more R and B, uh, a little more, gosh, um, pop sometimes, uh, electronic EDM mm-hmm. kind of thing, um, and it really has some of the biggest. Um, I mean, like if you're into metal music, like there's some real big metal bars in Dallas. Um, and so you've got, you've got, you've got a lot of things on the, on the mm-hmm. outskirts of Arlington. And so you, the cool thing is you get the overflow of that. I mean, there, if you go to, oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about, um, oh gosh, I'm going to forget the name of it. You'll, you'll help me though. Uh, Twisted Oak, sorry. Or Tipsy Oak. What is it? Twisted? Tipsy Oak. Yeah. Tipsy Oak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a, there's a great little, uh, uh spot in, in 
downtown Arlington called the Tipsy Oak. And if you go there, I mean, you're just going to hear the, the quality of music that you just hear on a, I mean, heck, a, a Tuesday night, like it's just mm-hmm. impeccable compared to what you could be hearing somewhere else. I mean, it's just, uh, we've got yeah. great music for sure. Um, well, and, and not too far down the road from Tipsy Oak, there's Jay Gilligan's, mm-hmm. which is a yeah. very old, <laughs> sure. established Irish kind of yeah. pub. Yep. Um, and there's all kinds of different music that comes through yeah. there too. So, yeah. yeah. You've got a lot of different really cool uh, spots in town to go see music mm-hmm. uh, from the big acts to the, to the, you know, the up and coming kind of stuff. So um, mm-hmm. really good. But yeah. And then you've got just, I mean, that all overflows into arts and culture. Um, and, and there are, there are many facets to that. What do you think you would say is like your favorite piece of that mom arts and culture? Cause I think honestly, mine is probably gonna be the food. It just really is. The like, food, I, I yeah. love that element of this area. It's, just, it's yeah. It's the so food. Cool. I also like the, you know, the theme park, you know, six flags and hurricane oh, Harbor. Sure. We spent a lot of time there, you know, yeah. I did in my teenage years yeah. and I know that we took you there, yeah. you know, growing up. So yeah. Yeah, those well, and fun. even, even, I mean, just on the other side of that too, NRH2O, I mean, you got that nearby as well. Six mm-hmm. Flags, excuse me, Hurricane Harbor. Um, God, what else? You have so many more. Um, I mean, you have the Arlington Museum of Art uh, for the art stuff. Right. You have the yeah. Arlington Music Hall, which is kind of becoming a really, um, I mean, we're getting, they're getting some big acts mm-hmm. to come through there. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's been cool to watch. And we have Theater well. Arlington. Yeah, totally. Yep. Yep. Theater Arlington. One of our really good friends, Stephen Morris, who yeah. was a teacher for a long time at Arlington High. That's cool. Works there at Theater Arlington. So, yeah. yeah shout I mean, out Arlington High. Shout I mean, out to you, Steve. <laughs> that's awesome. Steve, you may be watching just for that shout out. Um, I mean, <laughs> uh, that brings up the schools too. I mean, as far as our school system goes, you know, it, it is, it is uh, certainly uh, every school district in this area is different for sure has different strengths so you want to make sure you're checking those out depending on what you care about in a school system um but they're all very well ranked all of them are um i mean you know even just recently uh, obviously we had a horrible tragedy in in our school systems here uh with the shooting up in lamar i mean Mm -hmm. and that was just uh horrendous um and and where our our prayers go out to the families and our prayers go out to that whole community for sure um but even with those kinds of things going on this community rallied together and, and it does that time and time again when things like that happen in this area um it, it is a community that rallies together that supports each other uh, that comes around and so i mean there's you've got that element of things happening i mean you've got the element of uh the school systems even with just hor- hor- mm-hmm. horrible things going like that um you, well, you still and we, have, and we've always had really yeah we've always had really strong leadership uh, with our with our independent school district, with the Arlington yeah. Independent School District, we've always had great presidents, great leaders in that. So, yeah. yep. So it's a it is a it is a really cool spot to be. Y'all. It's just you, you can really find a pocket for really anything you're interested in, um, and a place mm-hmm. to belong. Well, you know, um, they're also building the uh, National uh, Medal of Honor Museum. We we oh, were one I of forgot the few about that. Site, we were one of the few sites chosen in the country <laughs> yeah. for. The National Medal of Honor Museum. So I totally forgot about that. Wow. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's an Arlington thing. Yeah, that's gonna be crazy to see what that does for the town. Mm, absolutely. Yep. Well, all this said, I mean, now just a little bit of real estate information for y'all, just so you can be aware. Um, the average sales price in Arlington is actually now at three hundred fifty-six thousand and five hundred dollars. Um, so that's our average sales point. Uh, your price per square foot is going to be around one seventy nine per square foot. That's the mm-hmm. average price per square foot. Very affordable. Totally. And the average household mm-hmm. income, just fun fact, is sixty five k in Arlington, Texas. So, mm-hmm. um, just some again leaning more into that affordable um, and and you know maybe not working class, but I mean something like that for sure. Um, yeah, we've got a, we've got a good uh, market for first time home buyers. Yeah. So we are, we've got some wonderful neighborhoods that are around that 300,000 to 325 kind of zone. Yep. So yeah, we've got some good homes like that. And then of course we have some luxury properties too in North Arlington and all along the lake. Mm-hmm. We have luxury properties that are, you know, one to two, uh, I think we even have a, a couple that are $3 million. Mm-hmm. So we've got some million dollar properties there. Yep. Yep. It's something for everybody y'all. Absolutely. Arlington, <laughs> something for everybody. That's right. It'd be yeah. a good slogan, a good tagline there. Yeah. Well, all right. So, so just, you've got, uh, gosh, maybe five minutes left of this thing um, before we shut it down. What for you would you say is like, you know, somebody who's watching this, who's never, ever 
uh, been to Arlington, never really even thought about it. What would you say is like when you come to Arlington, you have to go try or do or whatever this? What would you say? Oh, that's a good question. There's so many right. options. Um, I would say that, um, well, if you're a sports person, you've uh, got to go to the entertainment uh -huh. district. You absolutely have to do that. Yep. Now, if you're not a sports person, then I would say try out the parks. Yeah. River Legacy. Yeah. River Legacy is what I was going to say for sure. Mm -hmm. That's just such yeah. a cool park to go like and spend time at. Yeah, and there's miles and miles and mm -hmm. miles of um, track, you know, of of uh, trails yep. that you can either ride with a bike or you can hike or mm -hmm. walk. So, yeah, probably those those two would be, to me, things that, that really do stand out. Yeah, and I mean, if you're in Arlington, too, the, the running joke, honestly, is that like, ha like more than half of the people in Arlington do not know that there is a Lake Arlington. <laughs> yeah. So if you have time and you, you have any, any interest in that, in, in lake life or boating or things like that, um, Lake Arlington is a great lake to go to. It's actually got a really great park um, right on mm -hmm. it where you can um, put your boat in and you can park your you know car <laughs> as you go and mm -hmm. boat for the day and that kind of stuff. Um, that's a really great experience and a really easy mm -hmm. one that not a lot of people know about. But you can't swim. I was I was about to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're, yes. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna I say. Beat yeah. you to it. You can't swim in Arlington just as a heads up, y'all. Um, just because there is a strong undertow from mm -hmm. the uh, power plant that's on the lake. So just heads up. It's not one that you go to to spend the day at, you know, sitting by the lake kind of thing. It's a, it's a boating and life jackets and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. just know that. Right. It's a great picnic place. Yeah, Take it's a, a good picnic. spot. And if you go that way, yeah. let us know. Um, that's kind of um, mom stomping ground. So she'll come, mm -hmm. Absolutely. She'll come bring you a little we, bit of, uh, gosh, champagne or something for your day. <laughs> that's right. We know, we know the 76016 zone really right. well. Right. Yeah, very, very well. <laughs> that's right. For yep, sure. Cool. Well, you know, most people, and most people really that want to move to Arlington and they come to us and that's where they want to be, it's because a lot of it's convenience. Sure. It's just so convenient to their work, yep. to, things that they want to go do. Yeah. So. Well, it's, it's the most developed, like when you think of the suburbs, especially at Fort Worth, I mean, Dallas is, is kind of blown up North for sure. Um, but when you think about Fort Worth, as far as a suburb of Fort Worth goes, you really have Arlington as one of the main areas where you can get a little more suburb, a little better price, a little, you know, a more affordable price, but also mm -hmm. still retain a very, very, you know, city like, um, in restaurants yeah. and, you know, entertainment or things like that for sure. Um, now, you know, North Richmond Hills is kind of on its way up, uh, to compete with that. You've mm -hmm. kind of got the Hearst area that's attempting mm -hmm. to do that a little bit more for sure. Um, but it's, mm -hmm. it's still mainly Arlington as the, as the big suburb of Fort Worth. So, and, and we'll be spotlighting those cities at another time. That's right. Yeah. We're going to do a Fort Worth. I, I realized today, I actually, I, I wasn't wearing my TCG shirt today. I was wearing a, my blue Fort Worth hat, which I love. And I was wearing my, uh, like, got like a black and white Fort Worth shirt. And mm -hmm. it is not uncommon for me to wear like double Fort Worth stuff. That, that's a very common occurrence. <laughs> it sounds um, like you need to bring a special with Fort Worth. Yeah, I need to get sponsored by Fort Worth locals. If that guy ever watches this, I would love to get sponsored by you. Like, I will wear okay. your stuff everywhere because I just love your, uh, he, he has some cool designs for Fort Worth kind of clothing. And so. Um, well, that'll be our teaser for our next episode. Stay <laughs> tuned for. All Watch this so Jackson gets sponsored. That's what it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great stuff, y'all. Look, we love Arlington, Texas. We're a big fan. Um, yeah. You know, I, I am a product of Arlington, Texas, and I'm thankful for my time um, in Arlington, Texas. Uh, gosh, I'm thankful for, I mean, the school system that I came up through. I'm thankful for UTA. That was where I went, met my wife mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. and, and That's really, where I met your dad. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Um, so mm -hmm. be careful when you go to UTA, y'all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Meet your spouse. Yep. Um, we're, we're big fans of the town, and we're glad to support anyone who can. So if you have questions, if you're watching this and you're just interested in, in Arlington and, and or even just surrounding areas, we'd be glad to give you more insights. If there's something in particular you're looking for, let us know because we'd be glad to you know, mm -hmm. say, hey, if you're looking for restaurants, I mean, we, we, we found – I mean, there was that one, like, burger spot that was, like, that whole – like, literal hole in the wall um, just up, I mean, in North Arlington that was crazy. So we've got – a lot of stuff like that, depending on what you're interested in. So we'd be glad to share all that information with you um, if you're thinking about going to Texas. So, Yes. 
please come see us. We'd be happy to meet you for some coffee or something. <laughs> That's right. And take you around town, show you around. It's going to be a good time. All right, y'all. Well, again, uh, any chance you have to share this, like this, or, or subscribe, hit that notification bell on YouTube. Um, just lets us get all of the good vibes for the interwebs to uh, share this out um, as we are continuing to create content for people to hopefully bring value to everybody out there. So um, as we do each and every week, we are just, we love getting to do this. We are, love the chance to just share what we're learning about this market or what we know about this market from our time here. Um, and we'll do it again next week. <laughs> Absolutely. Until then, go Arlington. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that just happened. That just happened. Isn't that good? Right there. That right just there. happened. If you're on audio only, you have to go watch this. This is insane. That's it. I'm making an A with my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are. No, it's happening. Yeah. That's a pretty good A, right? <laughs> All right. Go, Arlington. Y'all have a good week. We'll see you next week.